After four days in the Lamin Lodge, we are ready to leave to go river up. People here are so friendly and helpful and happy. They say Gambia is the smiley coast of Africa and that's so true. We are starting here in Lamin, going all the way up river. to Georgetown. We are sailing down the Gambia River. It's actually quite nice. Here the river is not so interesting. It is uh, very wide and there is not so much to see. But further upstream, I guess it will be much more interesting. We spotted river dolphins. They were a bit shy and they were not in the mood to come to play with our boat. We passed by the James Island. You can still see the ruins of a former prison for slaves. We just entered into the Bintang Creek. Very quiet here. There is just a little wind to sail, not a lot. But we are still doing four to five knots with the current. Our first stop was the Bintang Lodge. Close to the village there is a restaurant and some bungalows. We spent our first night on this quiet anchorage. Our daily plans were depending on the current of the river. We always waited until low tide and started our daily sail with the tidal upstream. In the nights we anchored in small side creeks, where there are no waves and we are out of the way of the fishermen, which are throwing their nets sometimes in the middle of the night. On the next day, a surprise. There were jellyfish everywhere. There is some construction going on here. They are building a bridge which crosses the Gambia River. It's uh, still on the construction. It will be the first bridge which is crossing the Gambia River. So far, all the cars and trucks have to take ferries to cross the river. For the night, we chose a very narrow side creek. But with our small boat, no problem.
Every day the same procedure. Breakfast and waiting for the tide and go. What a beautiful morning. It's 8 o'clock and the sun is here but it's not hot that hot in, like in the day. It's just 24 degrees. We enjoy this time when it's not that warm like in the day with 38 degrees. We spotted a village and we're going to check out if we can buy something. The workers here in that peanut uh, company, they were very nice. They gave us a lift with their truck to the center of this village and we went to get some fuel. Nice people here, very helpful. In the evening we had visitors in the trees nearby. The monkeys were watching at us. They probably never saw such a strange looking boat. The landscape has now changed. The salt water changed into fresh water, no more mangroves, it looks more like a jungle now. This guy just came to us and we give him a ride upriver. He asked for two empty bottles of water for um, they use them for their fishing nets, so we gave him two. Sometimes we had to drive around large fishing nets. And because of this one, we got into a territory of wild hippos. We think we have spotted some hippos, quite far away. <laughs> Trying to get closer, it's not very deep here, but so far we can uh, go a bit closer. Very slowly and careful because of the depth. It was very fascinating to see these huge animals in wildlife. Later today we arrived at the village Kuntaur. We were just about to anchor when three kids came to us and they told us that a hippo is living exactly where we anchor. We were very grateful and moved to another place, but during the night we could still hear the hippo screaming close nearby. It was very scary. We are on an expedition today. We are going to the stone circles of Vasu. On a hike to the stone circles, it will take us uh, one hour. By 30 degrees. Hot, sun. hot. Sun is burning. We followed the road along beautiful rice fields. After one hour, we arrived at the stone circles. This place is a UNESCO World Heritage.
As white people, we were the attraction of the kids. They asked us for gifts like footballs and candies. During our stay in Africa, we decided not to give any gifts. In our view, it wouldn't help the kids. Like that, they will just learn that they can ask the white people for gifts and money. It's better when they learn to stand on their own feet, to look for a job or to start their own business. <laughs> We continued our journey deeper into the wildlife of the beautiful Gambia. We discovered a big group of baboons. Some of them are huge like lions. After 180 miles and 5 days, we arrived on our destination, Georgetown. What comes next? We stranded our trimaran on a sandbank. Easy anchoring, eh? Very easy. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Help us to get a thousand subscribers. If we reach it, we will upload a special video for you. So see you soon.